Our first up is Beautiful Creatures. This is a 2013 movie star. I'm going to mess up these first two names. Alice Enslert, Alden Eckerich, the guy who was young on Solo, uh, Viola Davis, Emma Thompson, Jeremy Irons, and Emmy Ross, and my second one on her. Um, yeah, so I wanted to watch this movie, so I was like, oh, I want to watch some trash, I want to watch some bad. Uh, and I was really surprised by this movie. It was actually fine. Um, so if you don't know, it's a, based on the YA series, uh, and it's kind of like Twilight, I guess, but better. Um, uh, main girl, she moves to town and she is a witch, except she's not a witch, they want to be called caster. Just saying witch is a bad word. Uh, and then uh, young Han Solo is like, ooh, you're pretty, let's be friends. Uh, and then it's all, it's, you know, it's cute YA stuff. Um, and it was very pleasant. Like, what I really, it, this movie did a lot of stuff really well. This movie had a lot of charm, uh, especially by Young Han Solo there. It also was mostly really well acted. Besides the main chick, pretty much everyone else did really good. Um, I really call it Emma Thompson. She was just, she was just great and everything. Uh, and then it had a really interesting story that built really well. Um, it didn't it didn't deliver, which was one of its faults. Um, they kind of just didn't really explain the lore stuff that well. They tried to explain it, but it was kind of just more like, eh, it's tough. Um, uh, another one of its faults, though, it definitely has a bunch of YA tropes that wasn't great. And then the ending just wasn't super clear. Like, they went for, like, a different kind of unexpected thing, but they didn't really explain it or the significance of it and stuff or why this was even possible and things. Um, but yeah, it was pleasant. It was nice. Uh, I'm really just more so surprised. I'm surprised just how much I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was good. My next movie is Australia. So this is a 2008 movie starring Nicole Kidman, the second one, her, and Hugh Jackman. Uh, and then in very minor roles, it also has Ben Mendelsohn, my fourth one of him, and Essie Davis, my third one of her. She's just so great. Uh, the basic premise of this movie is it's set in late 1930s, early 1940s Australia. Uh, and it's basically a cattle drive movie with some extra stuff at the end uh, to remind you, hey, World War II is a thing. And the themes are, it's kind of just about how racism is bad. Um, and it's a very, like, fantastical movie. Like, uh, oh, like very romanticized, kind of black and white. Like, good characters are good, bad characters are bad. There's no real gray area stuff. It's just kind of, like, cut and dry, what everything is. Um, and it's kind of almost like a family movie with how, like, silly and stuff it gets. But it is cool in how, like, it definitely treats death as, like, a real thing that happens. But yeah, I remember watching this when it first came out, and my thoughts were that uh, it's basically three movies all jammed into one, and it was really long. Um, and I kind of agree with Past Charlie. Uh, I I enjoyed so basically the once the the cattle drive part is done, the movie legit ends. Like they have this whole montage thing where they wrap up every single storyline. Like the family is all happy together. They they revitalize this ranch. Thing. and it's it's all just like big hallmark lovey-dovey stuff um everything gets wrapped up except for one the one one bad guy gets killed by the other bad guy and so the other bad guy his story easily could have ended right there but instead they added an extra hour so they can justify killing that bad guy too um and just is it basically that last hour it completely lost me like i just could not focus on this movie to save itself it was it was it was rough. Um, up until that point, though, I was going to put this movie in light. Like, it's definitely not my kind of movie and just how kind of ridiculous and over the top it is. But, like, it was still enjoyable. I was fine with it. Um, but then just that extra hour of, like, oh, did we just kill all of our main characters in a very violent bombing? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. And I was like, what, what are you doing? Why are you trying to do all these death fake outs we already did one death big death fake out before this that was silly and now you're doing more and they're more dramatic and it's just what 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 are you doing what is going on this movie should have ended a long time ago and it would have been fine but it didn't um so yeah i mean it is australia is beautiful though and i definitely want to go there one day because i miss my australian friends you guys are the best um but yeah this movie's not good i put it in the meh <sighs> so sad 
And lastly is Manifest Destiny Down, colon, space time. I made, I made a mistake. So this, this movie was targeted, targeted at me, and I'm like, okay, this movie looks dumb, but it could be, it could be incredible or just god awful, the worst thing ever. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was definitely awful. It was so bad. This movie just came out on streaming. I don't know how the hell this movie got made or financed or anything. Um, I think with for the writing process for the movie is either one person or a couple people got really high on salvia and then decided they wanted to talk about quantum physics. So they just wrote a script based on that conversation they had. Um, and yeah, this movie makes zero sense. I, it's really goofy and over the top, but then it's also filled with lots of sexual stuff and lots of drug stuff. And I don't know who the target audience is for this. Uh, I'm guessing it's people who smoke salvia, which definitely isn't me. Though I did actually talk to someone who smoked salvia before, and they were like, yeah, it like takes you out of this world. It's insane what it does. Uh, which the movie does a good job of actually conveying what the effects of salvia are. Um, it's just, yeah, no, it's so bad. Just everything is wrong about this movie on like a very fundamental level. Like nothing makes sense. It's all, it's just, it's goofy and silly and just the, I don't know, it's, it's, it's bad. I don't even know why I really watched watched the entire thing. I was playing Animal Crossing the entire time. Um, I think it was because on IMDb they have like a new uh, parental guide thing which talks about like things from the movie like violence and sexuality and drugs and stuff and like that section was all like severe, severe, severe and I'm like okay this movie is probably gonna be could be entertaining because of all the severe stuff but I just think someone was trying to be vindictive against this movie, like pull pull a prank on them for the laws and just write a bunch of stuff that didn't happen. Cause but like there definitely is like drug use in this movie, but not in the way that they described. And there is nudity in this movie, but just not in the way they described. But yeah, I definitely have been talking about this movie for way longer than it deserves. It is just not good at all. I regret watching it. Uh, though I am really curious about how this movie got made. Like who the hell financed this movie? Who like read this script or heard this? and thought, yeah, no, this is a good idea to spend thousands of dollars on. Um, but yeah, no, don't watch this movie unless you uh, hate yourself a little bit or you're high on salvia. <laughs>